What's up everybody? Traverse City John Boater here and welcome back to the channel. Today I got a short video where I'm going to show you my John boat and the entire setup that I've been rolling with for 2019. I'm not going to show you my fishing gear. This is strictly uh, just stuff except the boat and the accessories. It's there's not any mods to it really so this should be basic and I'll show you everything I got here. This is a 12 foot sea nymph aluminum boat. This is not a flat bottom. It is a V. Here in Traverse City up north, it gets pretty windy and choppy, and this cuts through the, uh, the waves and the wind a lot better than a flat bottom. You can find these 12 foot rowboat aluminum boats all over Craigslist up here for $100. They fit in the bed of your truck, and you can launch them anywhere, and they make, uh, they make really great stealth fishing boats. So we'll go over everything I got here. Like I said, I don't really have anything modded, so this is pretty basic. I got my navigation lights in the front, those just run on AAA batteries. Uh, you definitely want those if you're night fishing. And I love night fishing and I want to be legal and safe. So I got those. This is my storage box. Uh, we'll come back to that. I'm not going to go over my tackle, but there are a few things in here boat related that we'll come back to here in a minute. I have a storage unit with a lid that's waterproof. That's where I keep my uh, charging stations for my GoPro batteries, uh, my cell phones, uh, scales, little all kinds of little knickknacks in there but they stay nice and dry in that container and under that container i have an extra battery i always like to have that not only in case my other battery craps out on me and goes bad but i like to spend a lot of time on the lake so i need two batteries one's just not enough for me because i do not have a gas motor on this boat i'm just strictly rolling on electric or on batteries next up i got a ego uh, rubber net I like this a lot better than the cloth and mesh ones. The hooks don't get stuck in there. You're not digging hooks out and it's a lot better on the fish. It is a real nice net. <clears throat> it extends, you know, all the way out, all the way in and it floats. So that's a nice net. I got some sand in there. It's not sounding too good. I got my oars. Got to have those to be legal and you don't want to break down on the lake without, uh, without any way of getting in. If your batteries go or if your motor breaks, you know, you gotta have something to get back in. I got just a cheap anchor down there. I just keep it on about eight foot of rope, nothing deep. <clears throat> right here, I got my other navigation lights. This is the back light. And that just screws onto the back, or you just turn the knob and it goes right on there. I didn't have to screw anything in there, nothing like that. <sighs> got my main battery back here. And then here is the motor. This is the Minn Kota Enduramax with the digital maximizer on it. It actually has a battery reader. I don't know if you can see that, it's almost full still. But I like that. It uh, lets me know when my battery's going low, so I know when to change it. Otherwise, you would just have to run your motor and t until you know you lose power. Then you know you got to change your battery. It also says it gets up to five times more use on this one because. This model is the throttle. It doesn't have gears one, two, three, and four. This one is just, uh, it's off through 100. And then you got your reverse on there. Also, another cool feature with this, on this style of troll motor, and this is the 55 pound thrust. I don't know if I said the thrust power, but that's what it is. Uh, the handle pulls out. So when you're standing up and you're trolling around, you don't have to reach back as far to uh, grab the handle and steer. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, I just got one more thing to cover here. This is my storage unit. This makes it a lot easier. I'm not grabbing tackle box after tackle box after tackle box. I just keep everything in one big storage bin here. And this is also where I keep things for the boat. Uh, most of my tackles in this book bag. It's chuck full of tackle, pliers, knife, all that stuff. I got my seat cover, or not my seat covers, my seat cushions. Because your butt will get sore sitting down on this thing for 12 hours. You know, I like to fish 8 to 12 hours at a time. So you will get sore on here without some seat cushions. Got my life jacket. Again, safe and legal. But what I really wanted to show you in here. And I got more tackle box, tackle box, tackle box. Got a fire extinguisher. Some states it's illegal. Even though I don't have gas on board. I was told by the sheriff here in Michigan that it is illegal here. 
So depending on what state you're in, it might be illegal to not have a fire extinguisher on board, even if it is just a battery operated uh, vessel. But right here, this is, uh, this is my old prop. And I keep this around just in case I break a prop. And I have the tools in there to um, remove that as well. So I keep an extra prop, but also with these troll motors, you can hit a stump or things can happen and uh, you can hit a rock, anything, and the prop pins break on them. You don't want to be two miles out on a lake and have the prop pin break and you have to row back against the wind. I got these from Northland Marine online. It came up on a Google search. It was $5.99 for 10 of them, which is a heck of a deal compared to the Mencota site. I think for 10 bucks you get two prop pins and two bolts. So definitely, I definitely uh, keep that handy just in case. That's not my recommend if you're out there John boating is keep those prop pins with you. And the one last thing I forgot to go over that I have on here is the, uh, get a look at it. The prop I have, this is the uh, Minkota Weedless Wedge 2. It's got little wedges on it. it. Says it's virtually weedless. That's not true. It does get weeds just like the other one, but it gets less of them. And they don't seem to get, it's, they seem to untangle for some reason. I don't know why. This goes a little bit slower, but I like the weedless because I fish, fish uh, the thick bush a lot. So that's it. There she is in a nutshell. It gets the job done. I catch tons of fish out of this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like my little John boat. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Good luck out there fishing. Keep those lines tight. And we'll see you next time.